three big guns of charitable organization Aman Palestine pleaded not guilty to multiple charges at the Shah Alam Sessions Court on Thursday for misappropriating some 85 million ringgit sourced from public donations. 58-year-old Executive Director Abdullah Zaik Abdul Rahman and 52-year-old CEO Awang Sufyan Awang Piyut were accused of embezzling about 39.5 million ringgit, each while 42-year-old director Khairuddin Muhammad Ali had allegedly misappropriated about 6 million ringgit. All three were also directors of Sharikat Samudra Champa, which had allegedly utilized Aman Palestine funds to purchase houses, shop lots, and land in various locations. Some of the charges were for purchasing gold at a cost higher than the stipulated market price, the offences were allegedly committed between 2018 and 2023. The charges were framed under Section 4, Bracket 1 of the Anti-Money Laundering, Anti-Terrorism Financing and Proceeds of Unlawful Activities Act, as well as Section 409 and 420 of the Penal Code for Embezzlement and Cheating. A total of 164 charges were read, with 161 of then involving Abdullah Zaik and Awang Sufyan. The court spent nearly two hours reading through the 89-page summary of charges before Judge Anita Harun. The court set bail at one million ringgit with one surety for Awang Sufyan and Abdullah Zaik, with 500,000 ringgit to be deposited on Thursday and the remaining on March 13th, which is the date set for case mention. As for Khairuddin, a 200,000 ringgit bail with one surety was set, and he was ordered to make a 100,000 ringgit payment on Thursday with the remaining amount to be settled in a month's time. Judge Anita also ordered for their passports to be surrendered to the court. According to the organization's website, Aman Palestine was formed in 2004 with an aim to channel aid and look out for the welfare and human rights of Palestinians. The MACC launched a probe last October over allegations that the organization's funds were allegedly diverted for purposes other than the objectives behind the establishment of the company.